When you record it full screen or with any large dimensions, sometimes it's difficult to see the details of your video when producing to much smaller dimensions, such as on an iPod or a website. That's where Camtasia's Smart Focus feature comes into play. Smart Focus automatically predicts where to zoom in during your video to make it easier to see things on your screen. All this happens behind the scenes during recording, as Smart Focus analyzes the position of your mouse cursor, which windows are active, and when text is entered. Smart Focus then uses this data to add zoom keyframes to your timeline in the editor. One important thing to note is that Smart Focus will only work with Camtasia recording or Camrec files. It will not work when saving your recordings to the AVI format or with other video formats that can be imported into Camtasia Studio. Let's take a look at how Smart Focus is applied and then how easy it is to edit and add new zoom keyframes. As long as the editing dimensions that you choose are smaller than the recording dimensions, Smart Focus will automatically be applied to the timeline. These blue diamonds on the zoom track represent the Smart Focus zoom and pan keyframes, and their placement is predicted based on data collected during the recording. You can position the playhead before any of the keyframes and play back the video to see what happens in the preview window. It looks like this zoom is focusing in on the text being entered in the search bar. To reposition when the zoom happens during the video, click and drag any of the keyframes. It's also very easy to make quick edits to a keyframe. Just double click one of the zoom keyframes and the zoom and pan tab opens. Reposition and resize the selection box on the left, and the preview window is updated with what is shown at this particular point on the timeline. You can also adjust the duration of each zoom using this slider. The duration means how long it takes to zoom from point A to point B. Shorter durations tend to help with keeping file sizes smaller in your produced videos. These keyframes make it very easy to focus on and show your audience exactly what you want them to see at any specific time in the video. Along with the automatic zoom keyframes that Smart Focus creates, it's also possible to manually add zoom and pan keyframes anywhere on the timeline. Just position the playhead on the timeline where you want to add another zoom keyframe, and click the Add Keyframe button. If you like keyboard shortcuts, the hotkey Z will also work. Once it's added to the timeline, adjust the amount of zoom using the same process as before. If there are any zoom keyframes that you don't want to use, just right click on the keyframe and choose Remove from Timeline. Or choose this option to remove all zoom keyframes from the timeline. You'll be prompted to confirm that you want to remove all keyframes. Select Yes and the video will no longer zoom and pan. If we look back in the Zoom and Pan tab, I want to show you a few more important options. With this box checked, all camrecs added to the timeline will automatically have Smart Focus applied to them. If you prefer to choose when you want to apply Smart Focus to a clip, or to the entire timeline, then uncheck this box and use these buttons instead. Another quick way to apply Smart Focus is to right-click on any Camtasia recording clip on the timeline and select Apply Smart Focus to Clip. The next video in this series talks about how to cut and split on the timeline to remove unwanted audio and video.